Hey everyone, I'm Jack Fawcett, and today we are checking out the Gretsch Honey Dipper. So this is an all brass resonator guitar and boy this thing sounds good. This is a this is a really good bang for your buck resonator guitar. Uh, kind of no frills, doesn't have any real fanciness to it. They I have seen them in kind of different shades. This one's a little bit of a it's got kind of a warm tone to it color-wise and it's a really really lovely big sound and really fits that bill. Now, there are a number of guitars that Gretsch has in, in their Resonator line. Again, this is the all brass one. It is heavy. Of course, it's all brass. So, you know, it's not necessarily a guitar that I would think about taking out if I'm going to be playing long gigs with it, you know, strapped over my shoulder. But then that's not specific to the Gretsch one. That's just kind of any all metal Resonator guitar. They're, they're heavy instruments. The cool thing about the Gretsch that I was just learning about was their Amplifisonic diaphragm biscuit resonator, which uh, they say in the literature will provide kind of more volume and a, and a good mid-range. And I, I'm inclined to believe it in the sense that this one has a nice volume. It has a nice projection to it. It's not too boomy. Uh, it really sits in kind of a nice sonic range frequency-wise. Uh, very inspiring to play. It's just a really lovely guitar with a great tone uh, and just evokes that classic Americana style. Now, I'm going to play a combination of some slide and some just regular playing. I am tuned to open G for this video. And one of the things is, you know, for me, I actually got into resonator guitar through being a fan of Mark Knopfler. And Mark Knopfler doesn't play them with, I mean, he's, he plays slide as well. But many of the great Dire Straits tunes and, and even into his solo career, he's done some really cool work just finger picking on a resonator. And so that to me is actually the resonator sound. Of course, obviously, more traditionally would be used for slide, but that was my kind of doorway into the resonator world. And so I've always loved them as just kind of finger picking instruments or even just strum, you know, it can just be a regular guitar, which is I think important to remember about these instruments. You know, if you're looking to change up your sound, you can just string this up, you know, tune it standard and play it like a regular guitar and give you a whole new take on the songs that you've been playing. You can go even further with that. They do just lend themselves to open tunings and things, whether you're playing slide or not. And that's another way that you can just kind of, you know, sort of reinvent yourself or get a new cool take on a song that you've been playing for a while is to try playing it in an open tuning. Anyway, this is a great guitar. 
It's a great guitar. I'm gonna play a few more samples for you. Uh, this is not sponsored. I have done one review with Gretsch before. Many of you who follow my channel know I am quite the Gretsch fanboy. I absolutely love Gretsch guitars. This is not associated with them. This is one that I just kind of came across in my trades and things. And uh, it's a really, really lovely guitar. I'm very, very impressed with Gretsch's quality and what they're putting out at a reasonable price. So let us know what you think. Do you own the Honey Dipper? Do you own one of the other ones in the Gretsch Resonator line? I'm Jack Fawcett. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. 